and demand raises. It's not enough that women shatter the glass ceiling by becoming CEOs and CFOs. And it's certainly not enough that Donald Trump has promoted a handful of women into positions of power in his company. The great feminist critic, Bell Hooks, has written that the problem with mainstream feminism is that it's too focused on this issue of gender equality, equal pay for equal work and women and men sharing household chores and parenting. Equal pay and shared parenting matter, but their inflation into the be-all, end-all of feminism leaves us with a closed-off movement, a movement that blocks out the voices and the pain of so many women from so many different walks of life. The more difficult task of feminism today is to combat what Bell Hooks calls sexist exploitation and oppression. <laughs> sexist exploitation and oppression. Whether it occurs in the boardroom, the courtroom, the classroom, the bedroom, or in North Carolina, the bathroom. challenge, in other words, is to recognize that we live in a society that systematically degrades women. The real challenge is to resist those voices, many of them female, who say, I don't care how Trump treats women as long as he brings change. <laughs> the real challenge is to recognize that what Trump calls locker room talk is more than just meaningless banter, that it contributes to a culture of rape and harassment. The real challenge is to recognize that grabbing women by the genitals is sexual assault. And the real challenge is to struggle against this degradation in all of its forms every day. How can we do this? Thanks for being here. As university professors who teach classes on feminist thought, it's good to see you here. We are constantly reminding our students that expectations for women their assigned roles and characteristics depend on where and when they live. We want our students to think about specific moments in which certain ideas about women came into being. Women weren't always thought of as fragile and maternal. In America's colonial era, white women were seen as stalwart and tough. And of course, most black women were seen by the dominant classes as workhorses, and indigenous women were targets of genocide. This is what it means to think historically. It's about challenging our assumptions about women and exposing these assumptions as taught and learned. Thinking historically is the only way we come to realize that things haven't always been like they are now. It's the only way we can see that certain ideas about women are actually created for specific social and political ends. Like the idea that women are naturally fragile, or to get closer to Trump territory, that they function primarily as objects of erotic attraction for men. Thinking historically is the only way we begin to realize that ideas about women might have been created differently, that change is possible, and it's the only way we can recognize ourselves as the agents of that change. So we need to think historically about the present moment. Trump is one force shaping ideas about women. 
the people gathering all over the country and the world today. <laughs> Trump judges women by their appearance, and he degrades and threatens women who challenge him. People who don't call Trump out on these ideas, who overlook them in the name of some greater promise of change, help make these ideas seem natural and normal. They help give them legitimacy. Together, we can and must resist a culture in which objectification and violence are normalized. But resistance involves so much more than leaning in. It's not about individual women breaking the glass ceiling. It's about collectively shattering the sexist lenses through which we see ourselves and are seen by others. There are many people who have long been struggling to make visible sexist oppression and to end it. Affirm today that you will join that struggle whether it's through calling out Trump's sexism and misogyny for what it is, for lending your help to organizations like Denver Homeless Out Loud, through supporting Black Lives Matter, through contributing to Planned Parenthood, through volunteering with a Girl Scout troop, we're gathering your sons and daughters to watch The Hunting Ground, which is a film about sexual assault on college campuses. Let's work together to make Trump's comments stand out as a shameful moment in our political history, rather than allowing them to become the new normal. Thanks so much.